Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have this 2021 Ford F-250 Platinum trimmer package. So this is a really nice looking truck, so I wanted to do a review on this one. You can see the Platinum does have this grill specific to the Platinum. You do get full LED headlights, and excuse the wind noise and airplanes, I'll try my best to cut that out. But uh, LED headlights, LED turn signal, and then LED accent lighting. You can see you have a little camera right there with the washer. This does have a 360 camera. You have little tow hooks under there. And it has just a little air dam on the bottom. Not that super long one. So I do like the way that looks. And it gives you more ground clearance, of course. But you have these nice, aggressive Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires. You can see they have a very aggressive tread pattern. You can see all the suspension bits and stuff in there. You can even see a little front U-joint right there. That's pretty cool. These tires are wrapped in LT285 75 R18s. It has a nice black rim. I really like the black on black color scheme. Nice slim running boards uh, that can act as like skid plates too. Helps give it a lot of ground clearance. You can see there, a lot of ground clearance with this truck. Coming to the back here, diesels. I don't. I guess it's because they probably don't want people mixing up with gas. But diesels don't have the capless filler. They just have the green cap right there and then the diesel exhaust coming over there. Looking up here, you can see you have all LEDs for your third brake light. This is a six and a half foot bed. You also have a power sliding rear window. It says trimmer on the back right there. Of course, four wheel drive. All LEDs for the tail lights as well. You have the LED surrounds and then you have LEDs right here for the brake light. Turn signal is uh, yellow and it's right there. And then this is the reverse light. Parking sensors for the back. You also have this really heavy duty trailer hitch system right here. It looks very heavy duty. I'll put a spec sheet in the description um, because there, it varies so much between different trucks. You also have LED license plate lights, backup camera, and a light to light up behind your bed. And then while we're back here, let's go ahead and just look at the bed real quick. It does have the soft open, of course. Then when you see that, you know it has the, the tailgate step where you can pull it out and then pull out the stick. This does not have a spray and bed liner. That's a separate option on all F-150s and Super Duties. It doesn't come standard on high trims. Then you have a button here to turn on your, uh, your bed lighting. Also turn on the third brake light up there. Have little tie downs right there. But yep, it's very easy to close this too because it kind of has a power assistance. It says Platinum Super Duty. Really like the way that looks. There's one last little side profile before we look under the hood. Looking under the hood, you have a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. It doesn't have any sort of a hood liner up there, but it does have a light. That's really cool. I wish F-150s had that. And you can see it's very uh, complicated in here. I don't even know what I'm looking at. But it's a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel, V8 diesel, 475 horsepower, 1,050 pound-feet of torque. I don't know what the MPG is because it's not on the window sticker. But that's your engine. You also have hydraulic hood struts. But let's go ahead and hop inside now. All right, guys, looking at the door panel, you do have soft touch up here. You have the nice soft leather right here. You have a cool, uh, that's kind of a cool design for your trim piece. Uh, automatic up down for the driver and passenger and just power for the rear. You have uh, telescoping mirrors. So that's really cool if you have a trailer so you can see around it. Memory seats, of course. This one does have the Bang & Olufsen stereo. You can see there's a whole bunch of storage in the side pocket right there. Power pedals right there. This is to remote open your uh, tailgate. And then the parking brake is just, uh, you have to step on it and then pull here to release it. All your lighting controls, you do have spotlights on the mirrors like I mentioned earlier. You have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Then looking down to the seats, you do have multi-contour seats so you can adjust it a lot of ways. A little platinum sill plate. And just look at how nice these seats look. I really like these this, this design. Oh, let me put that back. There we go. I really like this design of seat. It's very soft, very comfortable. And like I said, you can adjust it so many ways that there has to be a comfortable position for everybody. But let's go ahead and hop inside here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start up the Super Duty. There we go. Cool little graphic there. Sync screen turns on. This is Sync 3.4. It's not the updated Sync yet. Platinum, you have a smooth leather on the wheel, and you also have the cool brown accent stitching right there. There's your steering wheel design. This is to control your screen up there. This is to control the volume controls and other things in the radio. Adaptive cruise control on this truck. And uh, let's just quickly go over this gauge cluster. You can adjust a whole bunch of different things. 
So if you go down here, you can configure the screens that you want to see. You can add different screens. You have your trip fuel info, truck info, all kinds of stuff. Off-road status, settings. So this is a very nice uh, setup right here. It's not fully digital like the new F-150s, but I think it's a cool design nonetheless. Looking in the center area, you have the exhaust brake. I think that's what that is. Trash control, hazards, hill descent control, lane keep assist, and your camera system. So we can open that up. You can see you have the full 360, which is very helpful when you have a truck as big as this one. And then let's go ahead and check inside the bed here. There's that camera I was telling you about. Really cool stuff. Go ahead and turn that back off. And like I mentioned earlier, Bang Olsen stereo storage up there. And if you look down here, you have heated seats, which I have on right now, ventilated seats for driver and passenger. It is dual zone, automatic climb control. Over here, you have the four wheel drive system. I wish they made Super Duties have four auto. Even this fully loaded Platinum doesn't have four auto, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But you do have a locking differential, trailer brake controller, and a pro trailer backup assist to help you back up a trailer. And then in here, wireless charging pad and two USBs. Cool design right there. Cup holders and storage in the middle. And you can do this. Now you have four cup holders. So that's that's genius to do that. I feel like uh, they should have did that for the F-150s too. Looking in here, a whole bunch of room. You can put some pins back there. Put some coins on this tray. Then you do have, can't see it, but it is a 12 volt in there. Go ahead and close that up. And this is covered in that super nice leather I was telling you about with the accent stitching, since it is a platinum. Looking up here, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror. You have all LED lighting, and this is to control your sunroof, which we do have. Really nice sunroof. Your upfitter switches. Oh, I didn't mean to turn it on. And then your power sliding rear glass. And then if you look up here, you have your garage door opener right there and illuminated vanity mirrors. Over here on the passenger side, you do have a house outlet and a 12 volt. So you're covered there. And then if you look under this one that says Soup Duty, you have a little bit of storage under there. And then you also have your glove box with a light in there. It actually surprisingly doesn't have as much room as I expected, but it's still good though. You can put your owner's manual in there and have the rest of your stuff in the bottom part. But there's one last little look at the inside before we go ahead and hop in the back. All right guys, checking out the back seat. Um, there actually is soft touch in the back as well. That's nice that they included that. You have that nice trim right here. Nice soft platinum leather right there. A lot of storage in the door. And this one does have the storage underneath the rear seats, which is really cool. The nice platinum seats in the back as well. Very, very soft, very comfortable. You also have this uh, fold down center armrest right there. You have a 12 volt back here two heated seats for that rear outboard seats. You have uh, two USBs as well. And you also have the house outlet. If the sunroof was open, it would really make the cabin airy, but I don't want the sun beating down right now, but lots of room back there for your rear passengers. All right, guys, now let's get to my favorite part of any review. Let's go ahead and drive this truck. Alrighty. Right off the bat, Trans is very smooth in the Super Duties. So the new Super Duties now use the 10 speed. I think they've been using that since uh, 2020, if I'm not mistaken, but it's very smooth. And you can see it's in second gear. I really like how it will go through each individual gear. I think it'll skip gears too if you give it like, I don't know, I think, in other words, the transmission is tuned in a very smart way in my opinion. And this one has a thousand dollar option for speed sensitive steering and i thought that was standard on platinums but it must have just been our platinums just had it so i thought it was standard on platinums but it's well worth it in my opinion because it makes driving a huge truck like this a breeze like it's, it feels like nothing i'm driving a huge truck but like since i don't have to turn the steering wheel so much and the steering isn't so hard to turn it makes it so much more enjoyable to drive let's go ahead and turn out onto the street here See how it uh, see how it is when you just take off normally. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, I went one to three that time, and then to five. Wow, that's interesting. So I'm gonna stop at this stop sign and give it a little bit of gas and see if it goes to second gear. Let's see here. 
Oh, yeah, second gear. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, this truck is quick for sure. It's crazy. Diesels feel so much different than a gas engine. Just the way it delivers power and how it feels. But I do like the way it sounds, though. That's really cool. Yeah, very smooth on the trans. I really like the way they're um, they're tuning the transmissions now. Or at least in the trucks, they're, they're tuned really good. There's a speed sensitive steering. It's really easy. Just look how easy this is, look. Very, very easy to get around the parking lot. Don't even have to turn it that much. I really love that. I'll have to double check on the Ford website to see if that's a uh, optional feature on lower trims. I'll have to double check and let you guys know, but um, I really, really like that. It makes a huge difference. It is a, kind of an expensive option at $1,000, but when you're spending $85,000 on a truck, $1,000 probably, probably isn't the end of the world. I hear some police sirens. Hopefully they're not over here. Oh, they're over there. But anyway, let's get onto some gas here. Wow, that is crazy. Just like a wave of torque. Yeah, this thing I sure, I'm sure has no problem towing stuff. Again, like I said, I'll leave that stuff in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. Let's go ahead and get onto the gas a little bit here. I'll show you guys the speedometer. Yeah, it's really, it's really impressive. This truck is way too big for anything that I would need, but I can understand the people that want and need a truck like this. It definitely is really cool. Let's see how it handles. Obviously, we're not carving corners in a pickup truck but yeah you know you can take it at normal speeds no problem and it actually rides surprisingly decent like the work trucks like the fleet trucks they ride a lot harder than on um, this truck does and this truck has like off-road suspension and everything so anyway let's go ahead and <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool but i hope you guys enjoyed my quick little review and drive of this 2021 super duty if you did please like and subscribe follow me on instagram if you'd like speed sensitive steering and i will see you guys in the next one